गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट पैथोलॉजिकल बॉडी विच इज मस्ट नो टॉपिक आइदर फ्रॉम नीट पीजी एफएमजी और अदर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो ओके गाइस आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी सी आर द टू नेम पैथोलॉजिकल बॉडी वन इज द एस्टेरॉइड बॉडी एंड वन इज द शॉमेन बॉडी सो वॉट डज एस्टेरॉइड द नेम ऑनली इंडिकेट दिस इज द स्टार शेप्ड बॉडी एंड शॉमेन बॉडी शॉमेन बॉडीज इज द बेसिकली डिपोजिशन ऑफ कैल्शियम हैंड्स इट अपियर्स बेसोफिलिक सो वेयर डज इट सीन इट इज सीन इन सार्कोडोसिस हाउ कैन यू रिमेंबर एस फॉर शॉमेन बॉडी ए फॉर एस्टेरॉइड बॉडी इट इज सीन इन सार्कोडोसिस ओके नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट दैट इज द एस्क ऑफ बॉडी विच इज सीन इन रोमैटिक हार्ट डिजीज so this you can see this is the image of an ash cough body this is a previous year fmg question now coming on to the bollinger body this is important in microbio so where do you see uh, so it is seen in foul pox so how can you remember it you can remember it as foul ball now coming on to the next body that this is a ovarian tumor okay so in ovarian tumor you can see call axner body okay so call axner so call axner body seen in ovarian tumor okay so see it is seen in granulosa cell tumor of the ovary how can you remember it you can rem remember it as call the granny so you can easily remember that it is seen in granulosa cell tumor okay now coming on to the civite body or the colloid body it is basically a apoptotic body okay which is seen in lichen planus it is a important dermat finding what do you see you in the in the in lichen planus you see west shape hypergranulosis and apoptotic body at the end which is known as civet body okay you can see civet body they are the dead keratinocyte it means it is an apoptotic body okay then now coming on to the councilman body so councilman body basically they are seen in liver okay so it is seen in hepatocyte that undergoes apoptosis seen in acute viral hepatitis okay now coming on to the other body okay Bro uh, which is seen in bronchial asthma so you know the classic mnemonic bronchial asthma 3 c's are seen so what does 3 c stand first is the creola body that you can see here then is the crassman spiral so how does crassman spiral it is like a mucus plug this crassman spiral appears then is the charcot leden crystal which is seen in typical in uh, asthma now coming on to the other inclusion body in microbio so you have cowdery type a body and cowdery type b body okay so where do you see cowdery type a body a body is seen basically in herpes infection also known as lipsul's body then it is seen in yellow fever yellow fever it is known as toris body and what is the vaccine for yellow fever strain that is your that is 17 day strain how that uh, how do you remember in in our childhood everyone must have remember heard it yellow yellow dirty fellow so you can easily remember yellow fever 17 day vaccine is there okay now cowdery type b body type b body it is seen in adenovirus and it is seen in polio virus you can see b can be made into a p so it is seen in polio virus infection now coming on in multiple myeloma what do you see multiple myeloma one most important thing that we need to remember is the crab criteria that there is re, uh, renal renal function renal anomalies there is anemia bone pains and there is increase in calcium so what bodies do you see you see the touches body you can see the flame cells and you can see the mort cells okay so these are the classical finding that you see in multiple myeloma now coming on to the asbestosis body or the ferruginous body okay so asbestosis body how does it appear okay so it is like covered see you can see this typical body asbestos body or the ferruginous body which is seen in asbestosis this is a previous year question pyq so you cannot miss it out now coming on to the coronary body so where do you see it is seen in vaccine you see there is c c can be made into g hence this coronary bodies are seen in vaccine yeah and where do you confuse you can confuse it with variola so variola what is seen passion bodies are seen in variola okay this is the mort cells that you see and this is the dutch cells that you see okay now coming on to the help help us their prozaki bodies okay so where do you see this is seen in trachoma so you know trachoma is caused by chlamydia trachomatis okay so this is important for ophthal point of view this can be asked or in the microbio this can be asked. now coming on to the next body that is the henderson peterson body also known as hp bodies this was also hp body so there are two hp bodies don't get confused so how does it appear it how does henderson potter it is caused by pox virus and it present as an umbilicated nodule okay 
so it is present as an applicator so on pressing the needle there will be curdy like material coming out okay same in pox virus for Henderson Patterson body we have other question that is which is the special stain for HP body that is the floxin tartarate stain this is for INS for INICET exam okay this is an important question which can be asked okay now coming on to the hinge bodies so what is hinge body basically they are the denaturated hemoglobin so you know there is an enzyme known as glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase so in the, those deficiency you can see a hinge bodies okay now coming coming on to the hoval jollies bodies hoval jollies bodies are seen in thalassemia post splenectomy okay so that is a, a, a spleno what i remember this is only post splenectomy okay now coming on to the LD bodies, okay, that is known as Lismanian Donovan body, which is seen in Kalazar. You know, Kalazar is also known as Lismaniasis. Okay. Now coming on to the next body, that is Levental Coal bodies, okay, is which is seen in Cetacosis. Okay. This is a must know image. Okay. You cannot dare to forget this. Now coming on to the Levi body. So where do you see this is seen in Parkinson disease? See, this is the typical one finding of Levi body now coming on to the malaria dank body this is a very classical path question so what is deposit keratin 8 and 18 is deposited and what is the mnemonic to remember it it is new indian watch so what does n stand for non-alcoholic steohepatitis indian is for indian childhood cirrhosis then is the wilson disease so what is the mutation in wilson disease a T P seven B. How does you how do you remember it? We always confuse between whether it is A T P seven A or A T P seven B. So see, B is for beta, and Wilson means Wilson has sun in it. So sun means beta. That is Wilson, and A T P A is Menke disease. That is due to copper metabolism defect. Then A stands for alcoholic liver disease. T stands for tumors like hepatocellular carcinoma. C stands for cirrhosis like primary biliary cirrhosis. H stands for hemochromatosis. Okay. There is the Mason body. See, okay, this is important in bronchiolitis obliterans organizing pneumonia. This is a famous path question which can be asked as a MCQ. Then coming on to the Musel's body, which is seen in typhus fever. You don't know to remember the image. Then is the Maya Gava body seen in lymphogranuloma venerum. So what question is asked? That Fry's test is positive for LGV. So this is an important thing in this question. Okay. Now coming on to the Hirano bodies. Hirano bodies, where do you see? It is Alzheimer disease. Means this is a top protein deficiency. Okay. So this is the Hirano body. Okay. Which is seen in the hippocampus. Now coming on to the Gamma Gandhi body. It is seen in congestive splenomegaly. Okay. So you can see Gamma Gandhi bodies. The Negri bodies. So Negri bodies, it is seen in rabies. You know, rabies, rabies causes hydrophobia and it's 100 percent fatal disease almost okay this was a pyq question okay only till now known three or four percent have survived till date from the rabies infection okay then is the nasal's body which is seen in cytoplasmic inclusions in narrow neuron then is the michaelis gutman body this is a very classical body just remember the photo and you have one more photo which is given in robbins please have a look on it it can come as it is in your exams okay then comes on the pappenheimer body so pappenheimer body basically it is the non-heme iron pigment so it is seen in sideroblastic anemia okay which is a type of microcytic hypochromic anemia okay now coming on to the next one that is the samoma body so where do you see samoma body simple just see the letters what is there okay p stands for prolactinoma p stands for papillary carcinoma okay as s stands for serous cystadenoma of ovary then is the m m stands for meningioma or mesothelioma okay and you can also see in glucanogoma okay so this is the typical samoma bodies then is the donovan body okay this is seen in granuloma granuloma inguinal okay which is caused by clapsella granulomatis so uh, you don't confuse it with ld body please this is a grave mistake please don't do then passion body i already talked about when i talked it with gonary bodies which is seen in vaccinia then is the sealer dual body which is also known as glomeruloid body so why does it appears like glomerulus see how does glomerulus looks like it looks like this and you have glomerulus which comes see if you see the photo see there is a double layer of tumor cells and you have a white space so it makes it look like a glomerulus hence this is known as so how do you remember it you can remember it as yes y is for york sac tumor 
E is for also known as endodermal sinus tumor. S is for cellular dual body. Now coming on to the varicose body, which is seen in schwannoma. Okay, so there are two types. See, you have almost blank, and you have lot of cells. Okay, so antennae A. A means a lot of cells, and B means it's blank. There are no cells. So this is seen in varicose bodies. Okay, guys. So do consider subscribing if you think it makes. your life easy if it adds a value to your preparation do consider subscribing my channel i'll keep on uploading more content for you guys thank you guys